How can I make the Outlook view in browser function open my emails with my preferred browser and not Internet Explorer? I've seen this question posted online so many times and I was hoping with the retirement of Internet Explorer, Microsoft would finally resolve this. Sadly, this is not the case. Um, as of January 2021, there are no plans to do anything about this feature. But the year is young, don't click away yet. There are some important options I'm gonna share with you, one of which I've been offering for a long time and it's quite popular. So I'm gonna set you up briefly with the background behind this feature and then show you how it actually works and what we can do to fix it. Emails are sent to you from someone as either plain text, rich text or HTML formatted content. With HTML content, the page is made up of one file for the email text, and that downloads a file for each image and other special media content contained in the message, very much like a, a regular web page. In the good old days, Outlook would use its own email editor for plain and rich text messages, or it would switch to Internet Explorer to view HTML messages. You could also allow Outlook to use Microsoft Word as your email editor. Now this means Microsoft had to support multiple email editors for start, and depending on the version release you had of Outlook, Word, and Internet Explorer, meant every user had different behavior to certain functions and experienced different issues to one another, making it confusing for users and a nightmare for desktop support. So Microsoft updated Outlook 2007 and all later versions so that the email messages were managed using one revamped editor based on Microsoft Word. Now they only have to update one tool. However, web languages have progressed so they become smarter, more dynamic, and so become the risks of the content you get in an email. They can be harmful. So the Outlook message editor restricted certain features from being downloaded. Any content in the page that included animated images, advanced cascading style sheets or CSS, JavaScript, or uh, flash objects, and these would not appear. These features were mainly removed from the editor in case they posed a security risk or it simply was not important to the reading of the message content itself. So Microsoft provides a view in browser option that took the message and re-rendered it outside of Outlook in a browser that supports all the objects and the content format. But why does it only run in IE, even if you change your default browser as guided by so many web articles? Let me show you how it actually works. As time has gone on, more and more of your emails start becoming HTML content because it's richer and it's more attractive to look at, especially for marketing and newsletters that you'll receive. So here I've got one from Reddit, and as you can see, it's a very plain looking page, but there's no graphics. And if I go to this Fitbit one, I always have the same situation. But what Fitbit has got is this view in browser. Now this is nothing to do with Outlook. This is actually in the email. So if I click that link, this will launch my Google Chrome because that is my default browser. And the website then calls, it like queries and looks for the specific unique, the content that matches that ID. But inside Reddit, they don't have that option. So it's down to your Outlook to do that kind of situation. So I'm going to right click and you can see that I've got this download pictures. What I do first of all is I'm going to open up Microsoft Mail. So there's the Reddit. I'll give it a click and I haven't opened this yet. And you can see automatically it's popped up with the main images. Notice that some of these images aren't working. Now if I go into Outlook and I do download pictures, it pretty much does the same thing. It grabs all the safe images. But notice the images on the right hand side aren't brought on to my screen. Now this could be because they contain some code, they contain a query, because it conforms to some of those things that the Outlook Messenger uh, doesn't bring down. 
I'm seeing a restricted point of that page. So this is where you right click and you can see the view in browser. Now this is the annoying thing. When you saw it in mail, opened up, when I clicked the link, it went to my default Chrome. View in browser gives you a warning. You say, look, if you want to do this, all the stuff that I wasn't grabbing before could be dangerous. Are you sure? So be on your own head, click OK, launches, but it launches inside Internet Explorer. Let me just prove what my default browser is. I'm going to go into my start button, I'm going to type in default apps. There we go. There's the default apps. And you can see my default web browser is Google Chrome. Why did it open up in Internet Explorer? Well, the reason is because what Outlook Editor does is it actually compiles the page with the graphics and then saves it as an MHT file. Now, an MHT file is a sort of an old-fashioned file where it puts all the graphics, all the information, instead of being separate files, it's all compacted into one kind of like a zip file. So it's pushed down. Now, that's where the risk is. Because it's all packed into one zip file, the browser can't look inside it to see what content is dangerous. Now, that file is temporary. So I'm going to highlight the path of where that file has been dumped. I'm going to go into Explorer, and I'm going to go into the address bar here. I'm just going to paste in the address. And that takes me to the location where that email is. So there you got the email MHT. Now, look what happens to that file when I close Internet Explorer down. Give it a second, disappears. So that is a temporary file. It's the idea is to stop leaving cluttered mess. So I'll keep that Windows Explorer open. Let me go in and view in browser again. Now, if you don't see this message that pops up, chances are you or somehow have been triggered that tick box that says don't show this message again. So you'll never get that prompt again. I'm going to copy that file. I'm going to paste it. When I close Internet Explorer down, it will leave behind a copy of that message that I can tweak and play with. So I'm now going to close Internet Explorer down. There goes the original. I've left with a copy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on that file. I'm going to say, look, I would like to open this with Google Chrome. I'm not going to change my default anything yet. I just want to see if Chrome can handle MHT files. It's supposed to. They don't. Since version, I think it was 80 of Google Chrome and Mozilla Firefox now, and Microsoft Edge, the newer one, do not support these formats of MHT files. The browsers can't get inside it and look at the content, see if it's safe or not. So because of that, Mozilla Firefox, Google Chrome have said, we're not even gonna to touch these types of files, they're not safe. So you've already seen that I can go to your default apps, but you're not looking, you're not. This is where it's misleading, because it said view in browser. And people say you can change your default browser from here. That's not what we're looking for. We're looking for the application that is been programmed to open up MHT files. So I'm going to go to the choose default apps by file type. They're in alphabetic order via the file extension down the left hand side. So you're going to be doing a fair bit of scrolling. About halfway down we'll do it, I think. Let's find out. There's the MHT file. And you'll see to the right, bang, MHT and MHTML by default is Internet Explorer. So you're thinking, well, I'll just change it to Google Chrome. Well, first of all, we don't need to because you've already seen they don't support them. Waste of time. Okay. But if you wanted to, you could click the option. What you will find is, most likely, for most of you, when you click on that list, the only ones you'll probably see will be Internet Explorer, Microsoft Word, and maybe one or two others like Notepad. But you won't see Edge, you won't see Chrome, you won't see Mozilla Firefox. What I've done is I've been very naughty. I've actually configured the Windows registry to make them appear. If I do make it the default browser, If I double click, it hasn't made a difference. It still won't work. So um, you can give it a go. You might find that you have an older version of Chrome or a Chrome sort of tweak or an add-in that has got around it. Chrome by default don't like these. They don't touch them because they're a security risk. Okay, so what are your alternatives? Well, Microsoft recommend that you should switch to Microsoft Mail, especially 
uh, as you are in Microsoft Office 365 and you're a user. Now, it is designed to work with modern HTML. It does have a lot of 365 equivalents to Outlook, but there are still a lot of things missing. For one, you cannot access shared mailboxes within Microsoft Mail, although I'm still told this is coming soon. But Outlook is still by far the most powerful tool and is far more powerful than Mail, Calendar, and the new Contacts group applications, which are available to Office 365. If you have access to Microsoft Store, you could look for alternative tools replacing the view in browser. Now these will be third party apps and it's down to you to choose if you trust them. Alternatively, I have placed uh, links to two different VBA procedures that you can copy and paste into Outlook and use as your alternatives. Now these were originally done when I was floor walking for a, another company about 10 years ago. So, and I have modified these to make sure they're current. Uh, and there's two of them. One allows you to view emails in the browser of your choice. And this is done by choosing in code what browser you want it to point to. There are some limitations. However, this does work. The other one, which has been far more popular, converts the email message to a PDF and that allows you to then save that PDF and store it anywhere you like. However, it is strongly recommended that this is done by someone with VBA experience, as there will no doubt be some tweaks required to make it work for your environment setup. I will create another video going in depth into the code and explaining what you need to tweak and how to create buttons in Outlook for users to run the functions. So, some options there for you. Hopefully something in there is useful. I hope you liked this video. I hope it helped in some way and I apologize if it wasn't. Please subscribe so that if there's any updates, any news, I will post immediately that we find out. Um, if you go to my social media pages as described on the screen there, you can contact me directly. Hope this helps. Um, stay safe. Have fun.